Hey guys, Terry here. I wanted to do a quick video um, just to explain what's going on in my life. So we are going to be moving. We have found a new place that we're just in love with. Um, um, so I will be uh, kind of, this is the before, like what my craft room looked like um, at our condo. And then I'm going to try and do some videos and then piece it together and show you uh, kind of what I went through to uh, whittle stuff down. I'm going to have a smaller place. Um, so I have a really the luxury of having um, a closet that has many uh, built-in shelves. So I have all my quilting stuff and I have my paper and you know a place to hang my 31 totes and um, you know, I have a lot of stuff, right? We all do. There's memorabilia stuff that I'm still putting in the kids' scrapbooks. And um, so it's going to be a process here. Um, I'm excited about it. I love the new place. Um, it's going to be amazing. Um, I am packed for a crop this weekend. So I have my brother scan and cut and my stamping stuff and stuff for scrapbooking. Um, so I'm getting ready for a crop. Uh, we close in a couple of weeks, so panic is starting to set in on everything that I need to pack. Um, I am a quilter and a scrapbooker and a card maker. Um, I've whittled down a lot of stuff, but uh, you know how it is. You look around the room and you go, oh my gosh, I have uh, scrapbooks. I have um, product. I have all kinds of product. I have, <laughs> you know, we all have more than we need, right? So... Um, I'll be donating a lot of books. I've got quilting books. Um, I have stamps. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to pare stuff down to the stuff that I use. Um, I love to make cards, so I'm going to have an area set up with my stamps. Um, I love to scrapbook, so I am going to keep my Ikea shelves because I love the product that I have. Um, you know, there's, there's stuff that I use. Um, I use my Razcogs. Um, I love my um, IKEA desk. Um, it happens to be one of the uh, plastic folding tables that's on top of the um, little Alex drawers. Um, so I love that because I have the stuff that I use near me. Um, so that is going to be the area, the space that I'm going to have is going to be kind of in the master bedroom. Um, it has a beautiful view of the woods. Um, so that's what I was looking for in a new place. So I think I'm going to do away with the plastic table. I'll still have that for crops. Um, but I'm going to get a desktop for this IKEA um, setup that I have here. And then um, have that in front of the window. Um, so it's going to be a beautiful view. Um, and then I'm going to surround myself with the products that I use um, frequently. Um, other stuff can be in my basement. Um, that's stuff that I um, don't use frequently. And then I think what will happen is over time stuff that I don't use will just get, um, you know, donated or sold at garage sales. So um, I love my room, um, but I know that I'm also capable of setting up, you know, a new smaller area and make it work. So um, so this is just kind of one last swag of the room, and um, the packing will start here in a probably another week. Um, putting stuff into boxes, sorting through stuff, deciding what to keep. Um, but this has been a very functional space. I know the people that have bought our place um, are excited. Um, this is probably going to be an office for them. Um, you know, it works so well with the built-in shelves and everything. So... Um, so just, you know, join me on this journey where I kind of uh, transition to a new space. So I look forward to showing um, that organization side of it. Thanks, guys.